Hello, my beautiful Phoenix family. Welcome to another week of card reading. First of all, I'd just like to say that I miss you all so much. If you're new here, my name is Toke, and it is so lovely to have you here. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for your support, for your love. I know you guys have been asking about me lately because I've been MIA from the channel. I just, you know, I needed a break. Your girl needed a break. There were some personal things that I had to take care of in my life, so... Yes, I was taking the time to just integrate. Oh, well, yes, thank you guys so much for your patience and for still showing support to the channel even while I was away. Today we're talking about, so also, I wanted to say happy cancer season, okay? Happy cancer season and happy birthday to all my cancers, baby. If you are here, let me know in the comments if you are, by the way. But yes, I tried to do like a little bit of something for you guys so you can feel my creative energy is definitely coming back to life and i'm so excited to be here with you guys this reading it's gonna be a fun reading and in honor of cancer season you know season of intuition of connecting to your internal world and whatnot to your waters okay to spirituality to your sensitivity okay i'm looking to see which alien race are you most spiritually connected to okay if you do believe in star seeds if you resonate with them if you resonate with the story of evolution if you will i'm looking to see which one of them which one of those races if you've been asking yourself maybe which star seed are you then this reading is for you because i'm looking to see okay which one do you have the strongest spiritual connection to okay i literally just have random objects here and i think it's just how my intuition was going today okay so let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the groups, okay? To the piles. We have three piles here. These are the strongest ones that I felt connected to. And these are the ones that I really wanted to show up today on this video. So for my group number one here, this is some sort of agate right here. I'm not sure which one it is, but this is an agate crystal. This uh, this is a pendant. This is a necklace. And it is all the colors of the chakra in one. And this right here, group number three, is uh, it's also a pendant, which I didn't even realize <laughs> but yes this is also a pendant a gold pendant of the eye of Ra and the Ankh so whichever one that you're mostly connected to please do your due diligence to sink your intuition into this reading that way you are picking the pile that's meant for you please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't okay also please don't forget to take the time that you need to really tune into these pictures here so that you can see which one is calling to you the most okay if you need more time go ahead and do that and when you're done picking your pile of piles i will be seeing you in your reading Hello there, my beautiful group number one. Welcome to your reading where we're taking a look at which alien race you have the most, you have the strongest spiritual connection with, okay? So you've picked here my beautiful agate and it's so gorgeous. Let me bring it up close to you because I feel like I didn't really do justice to it in uh, the intro. So the back is very, very rough around the edges, okay? It's like it has so many ridges. It almost feels to me like it loves this specific crystal loves to like reach out and involve and coral it's like a very way of life kind of thing like cycle of life kind of thing okay like it wants to keep it just wants to keep building different parts of itself it wants to unearth different parts of itself and it's not ashamed at all for taking you know left when most people would take right or for coming out this beautiful way that it did and even on the inside it's even more beautiful the way that it looks and this part is very 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 soft so i feel like when they cut this agate slice open like you can yes the external part of it is so hard but it's so soft and smooth and silky on the inside like the best parts of it are the inside okay and the external parts of it only shows how much it's been through how much it had to transform like the erosion and all that stuff okay very interesting very talkative okay so we're gonna keep that there there's also like little crystalline crystals and all that stuff in here by the way i don't know if my camera was picking it up but there's some sort of something like that there so you are drawn here to this picture and this picture is this picture here this card here is the arcturian light codes the arcturian light codes and it says evolutionary downloads recalling power future thinking 
evolutionary downloads recalling power future thinking and i feel like with the crystal that you got as well it's kind of like that it's like you're always reaching out what really drives you on your spiritual journey is for you to evolve i feel like yeah like it goes without saying right like almost all of us but for you it's literally the fact that you, it almost seems like you're connected to this light codes obviously you're connected to this light codes and you're very high perspective higher self kind of person okay because i feel like the arturians themselves they're like that they're very drawn to evolving they're very drawn to like higher vibrations and higher level of thinking to higher perspectives of how we can do things better to where we're not stuck in that karmic cycle of you know going through the same cycles over and over and over again they were said to be they're, they're said to be uh guides for people on earth who are wanting to facilitate healing and bring more of healing into their world in a way where it's like you're doing it on a more loving loving way loving compassionate way okay like seeing and, and also not taking that life is happening to you or not taking the fact that oh you can't change your reality or like it's gonna be so hard for you to do so or these just really rigid mentalities here that's that's why you have a very strong connection with them i feel like i feel like you're also the type this is giving me aquarius energy to be honest with you this is kind of like honestly i'm going to pave my path i'm going to find my own way i will walk alone if i need to but like you're very 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 devoted to that spiritual journey of evolution of allowing these evolutionary downloads to spread through the earth and literally infecting the earth with light okay and also like people recalling their power through the your own way of life through you i really feel like you walk as your eye yourself a lot okay the way that these eyes are very staring at me they're like it's a very very confident energy here okay and if you're feel if you're getting the same traits it's probably because you're straight it's probably because you're you have you know arcturian energy within your arcturian dna or light codes within you as well that you're on earth here or that it feels this energy also feels very natural to you but you know what? before i go ahead let's go ahead and see your animal spirit guide and also the archetypal energy that the arcturian guide here um sees about you that you may not even know about yourself so let's see Ooh, frog spirit, exactly. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Frog spirit, yeah, there's so much about like clearing out the old, bringing in the new. Let's see how we can change our perspectives on something here. Let's see how we can keep moving forward. Let's see how even though all roads seem to be lost, everything seems to be lost, how can we still, you know, anchor in joy? How can we still anchor in peace? How can we still anchor in love? the bridge how can we bridge the gap <laughs> how can we bridge the gap okay the bridge okay oh okay 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 wow okay this bridge also goes beyond i feel like this bridge is saying that you your energy my group number one your strongest spiritual gift too almost feels like you're a bridge you're a bridge between worlds you're a bridge between heaven and earth you're even a bridge between these arcturian light codes and our reality here and again having that be funneled here in our reality this, in this card there's a baby there's a younger child's hand and an older an adult hand and it's almost this cycle of again past and present the past and the future you hear how they say children are the leaders of tomorrow and i think you're that type of leader and they instills this kind of knowing where you're like honestly yeah we're leaving the old ways and we're birthing new ways by even listening to the people that we don't feel like by even listening to people that we feel are younger than us that kind of thing okay just age here really doesn't matter i feel that's how you are you're like you can listen to a child if anything i'm getting the vibe that some of you in here you love kids i'm getting the vibe that some of you in here like you would rather spend your time with the child than most adults here because you're just like every one's already solidified in their own ways to where no one's really opening up to themselves or opening up to each other and if we do that we can actually see how much we're going through together but we're going through it isolatedly you know in an isolated manner in isolation it's like we're all going through our own things but literally it's it mirrors each other it's kind of we're going through the same thing so I feel like your strongest spiritual suit is to understand where we need to grow, how we need to grow, and what we need to, that foundation, there's something here about foundation and the way things have been done. 
before okay and moving away from maybe the way things have been done into much more better way into a, into a lighter way into a way where you're empowered like yes no this is actually gonna work for me because i believe in that i believe it's gonna work for me and yes maybe i haven't been dealt the you know the perfect set of cards here but still i rise still i'll keep going still i'm going to find a way to bridge the gap between what i want and where, where i'm at now and where i want to go to that kind of thing clear out the clutter of fraud spirit there's something here with the fraud spirit like just taking all oh, your leaps of faith maybe okay leaps of faith i'm hearing so let's see how you do this like how do you do this how do you bring this to earth you know or how are the arcturians arcturians like helping you with this okay yeah see okay we have three of swords we have okay we have three of swords energy we also have five of wands oh nice yes i love it uranus energy with the full see literally forward thinking future thinking fast thinking too like problem solving energy here is what i'm seeing okay like and then we have the lovers here we have the lovers and what do we have at the top eight of swords okay so with the eight of swords i really feel like you're not the type to self-sabotage at all and maybe you witness a lot of people who are self-sabotaging themselves because of their own perspective about themselves and it's not really because of themselves too it's the foundation that they've been rooted in so therefore this is how they this is how they've been you know this is how they've navigated life like a lot of people live in fear a lot of people live in fear a lot of people live in lack and in doubt and all these things in anxious energy as well you know and i don't blame them this is just again like not having the best how do i want to say this not having the best examples kind of thing I feel like, especially with these, these hands as well, it's like not having the best examples that shows you how to deal with, you know, really sensitive, emotional things, especially with the eight of swords here, because you see this, you see these two fishes, it's like, you know, merry-go-round, this is also the yin and the yang, this is also coming into balance as well, coming into balance with our own selves, and to see, to face our fears even, to face our fears, to face the other side, to face our own inner demons, if you will, okay, so we have the three of swords here, the five of wands reversed, we have the full, and then we have the eight of wands, okay, I feel like you have the reason you're very connected to Arcturus is because yes yeah definitely my power number ones like nothing can hold you back is what I'm hearing and I keep getting that honestly you're the type of person who like uh, I don't know maybe sometimes you may feel, feel like you know situations are betraying you or life is betraying you in a way you know by stabbing you in the back <laughs> in your heart or just you know through these pains and these emotional roller coasters that you might go through right Be with the three of swords here and then also it's very mental as well it's very mental you may be have a person or be around a lot of people who look at their situations as oh yeah why is this happening it's like that energy of self-pitying okay but i feel like you help people change that ideology into like don't you see that honestly because this is breaking down it's showing you that that foundation doesn't work anymore okay it's helping you to rebuild the foundation in a new beginning where you don't have any baggage where you've let go of your baggage completely and because you let go of those baggages it makes you like go into your future into your even faster even faster because nothing is weighing you down now this is all karmic this is like i'm getting the vibe that you're the type of person that really really helps people close out cycles okay because we have zero here and with the zero you know that's a cycle it's like a never ending exactly you're the type of person who helps people really take solace in their three of swords energy where it's like they feel like like um a lot of things has betrayed them in their life okay especially the things that they've really poured their hearts into the people that they've really really trusted or even hopes and dreams that they they had once had but never really panned out because it just didn't it wasn't you know it just didn't work out something like that so again clear out the clutter i feel like your spiritual gift is to really 
for yourself clear out the clutter okay do not fall into you know energies of competitiveness or jealousy or like one up in each other or just trying to like i get us trying to be seen but at what expense would you be seen is it at the expense where you are you know dismantling someone else's willpower or is it the expense where you diminish exactly is it at the expense of you diminishing someone else is that how you get up is that how you get to be seen you know something like that wow that's really yeah that's a very like sticky energy and i'm just getting here like with you you know how to start anew you know how to start from a clean slate you know it's almost like i feel like you're like okay yeah i forgive but i never forget I forgive, but I never forget. I learned that lesson, okay? And because I learned that lesson, that pain will never hurt me again, okay? Because I'm moving forward. I understand that this happened, and I did not hide away from the pain or try to push it away or try to distract myself with things, right? That doesn't make me really go to the root of this problem. No, I clear that ish out, and I focus on my new beginning, my new opportunities, my new doors that are now opening. And I go forth, I follow true. I i go through with courage with confidence okay with fearlessness this eight of eight of wands is a very fierce energy it's like you're looking at your orb here it's so funny like you <laughs> very in tune with your intuition here you're looking at your orb where you're seeing you're looking at the future exactly why do we look at the orbs it's to get visions of the future it's because you're also a visionary so you know exactly how to close that cycle so that you're not attached to any baggage that's going to weigh you down from stepping into that new door from stepping into that new opportunity from stepping into that new reality that you've envisioned that you've seen for yourself and you're actively making it work with you like you're bridging that gap you're you're doing the work that you need you're recalling your power you're opening up your mind you're expanding yourself this you're you're very expansive okay group number one your energy is very expansive and i think that's why it's the strong your strongest connection is with Arcturians because they're very high vibrational they're very like highly evolved beings who want to help others evolve at their own like you know prerogative as well it's like no we're gonna offer the help it's up to you okay i'm lending out a hand are you gonna grab it or not it's up to you all right we're not forcing anything here okay so let's keep going let me see what else they have to say within this okay let's see any advice okay that you can get from them Okay, I'm also getting that my group number ones, you're going to be the type of person that you will go through a lot of life's biggest lessons, okay, biggest challenges, and sometimes you will find yourself isolated, but it's all to really help you integrate here. It's all to really, again, really keep helping you close out each cycle or close out, you know, or even unearth dormant things that you never really knew you had within you as well, so that you can dive into it and explore into it and jump into it like the fool here. There's something that is for you but you don't know about it just yet there's a hope there's a dream there's a wish here that it's almost like you're feeling like you need to take a leap of faith on and it's because something here has been shown to you right but take that leap of faith okay don't worry take that leap of faith because this will definitely repay you you're just starting on something and i think you're going to be initiating something and it's going to go back very very fast like this is like fire you're going to be lighting fires okay um but be careful with fire you know fire energy it's very inspiring but it also burns it also causes you to burn out so even if you're working on something here take the time to rest connect you know connect to your own creativity Con just connect with yourself with your inner child and just keep getting like look for inspiration all around you that's what i'm getting here and just keep going don't fall into burnout at all okay so yes quickly swiftly Yes, 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 yes. Tap into your creativity. Okay, I really love this. And they're bringing me here to the face. Okay, they're bringing me to all of these colors here. And even here, they're so colorful. I feel like your energy is very luminous. It's very colorful. It's very like, yes. It also feels grounded to me. But you will be coming up to a place where I feel like you will need to express something that is within you. Something that feels really, really... I don't know. You're going to be expressing something here or they're pushing you to express something that you don't feel fully confident in. But you know because your intuition has showed you something here. 
That's very interesting. If you know what they, if that, if you're resonating with that message, let me know in the comments if you resonate. What it is that you're being asked to take a leap of faith on, okay? Because uh, your throat chakra is being highlighted as well as your solar plexus. So the confidence, confidence to express yourself, okay? To allow yourself to be seen. And also with the pink there, it's like, please invite compassion, invite love, okay? Invite just energy of, you know, serenity, honestly. <laughs> um yes what else do i need to get from here let's see what he says so look we have your life is a canvas your life is a canvas this manifestation creative accountability exactly taking accountability for your own actions for your own reality because you know it's in your hands okay we've moved past those super limited beliefs where we feel like okay we're very rigid we're you know things are set in stone where you really feel like things are set in stone but they're not really it's like this energy is invite it's almost like your strong again your strongest spiritual suit is for you to know how you transform it's for you to know the time like you can sense it you can sense when it's time for you to clear out the clutter where there's an evolution where there's literally change at your door where there's a new door that's opening and you know it is imperative for you to go through that door that's why your spirit will keep shaking because you almost feel restless because you're like, wait, there's something I feel like I need to do <laughs> and I just got to do it. That's the, and it's like, you, you don't, you don't fully believe yet. Cause this is still new. It feels like it's like, you don't even fully know yet how big this is going to be. Okay. This is, this is going to reverberate in every areas of your life, whatever this is, because again, it's your strongest spiritual suit. So for every time you choose to take a leap of faith and jump for on what, you know, your intuition is meant to tell you or where your creative energy is taking you. I like, I feel like you're trying to, you're manifesting. That's how you manifest that reality. This is how you recall your power. It's through the actions and the choices that you're making and the way that you're building your life to where you finally realize like, yes, I'm, I'm where I want to be. I'm where I want to be. I mean, like, yes, for right now, I'm exactly where I want to be and when I need, where I need to be. See, and I can wait. Exactly. Wait, I can wait because for right now, for right now, I'm looking at my reality and it's like, yes, I may not have every single thing that I want, but I'm patient enough. I'm patient enough to see that honestly, I create this, right? And if I can create this, if I have creative accountability, then I know when it's time for me to rest, when I know that I've been depleted in energy and when it's time for me to go. Because sometimes when we're being asked to wait, it's because things are still being woven, right? So when we're getting these little redirections in things that we're trying to manifest, again, it's time to tell you, like, listen, don't worry. Things are still being woven. It's not time yet, okay? So definitely, there will be a time for you to take this leap of faith. And once you do do that... Um, Eight of Wands, it's going to move very, very fast. People are going to hear about this. This is, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to move fast. I feel like this, there, it's something about information, sharing a certain information that you found, you know, because Eight of Wands, it's also Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius is all about philosophy. It's all about higher learning, higher education and stuff like that. So I feel like, yes, this is the talent that you're definitely working on right now. And it's also tied into your spiritual energy, your spiritual journey, your strongest spiritual suit okay so something in me is feeling like yes you're definitely on the right path it feels like you're moving away from you know yeah you're moving to calmer waters like you're moving to where you're like okay i got this i understand it's like you have a good enough foundation right now because you've cleared out the clutter you have a good enough foundation right now to be able to sense where you're headed you may not fully see it but you sense where you're headed okay your intuition is definitely spot on on the way so if you feel like you need to chill chill okay so last but not the least let's just go ahead and get uh advice from your angels and ancestors here from the angels and ancestors oracle deck okay from your guides and from your higher self interesting okay this pile is highly intuitive okay highly 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 intuitive good okay okay because we're also in the season of the mother you know because we're also in cancer season it's all about the divine feminine i would love to invite the lady isis through her oracle deck to see what she has to say to you at this time okay okay let's see what advice she has for you okay so maybe if you want you can ask a question as i'm shuffling <laughs> there you go <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, I was gonna say you can ask a question from Shuffling and we can see what she has to say. But honestly, yes, this energy feels very, very, very precise. It kind of seems like, no, I know what I want and I'm going for it. This is a very, very divine feminine energy because look at this Lady of the Star. Lady of the Star is Priestess of Sirius. Interesting. <laughs> Lady of the Stars, Priestess of Sirius. Very interesting. And you know what, Sirius? Sirius is the brightest star as well. I think uh, Arcturus is also one of the biggest, brightest. Uh, Arcturus is uh, a red, bright star, very bright star, shining star. And as well as Sirius. And I feel like you have that star qualities. And you know, pressure builds diamonds, baby. Okay? So keep going. Keep doing you. And listen, the advice that came out for you was take note of your intuitive messages. And I'm also being drawn here to your phases. Again, I feel like you will have that your high phases and your low phases. And it's all up to you to know how you, you know, flow and dance between those sides. Okay? And again, letting go of any rigid energy because clear out the clutter it doesn't serve you okay it like we are meant to be able to move from one side to the other and then we also have here for you sky father trust in the unknown see that's that full energy again because the fool is literally the unknown but it's just like you are so drawn to it it is calling you you don't even know why it's almost like you're feeling like you're ready and you don't even know what you're ready for that's what the full food feels like to me for you. It's like you're ready. And I feel that energy of excitement for you. I don't even know why. And I'm telling you, go forth with it because I think you're moving now on a very different level. You're moving from a place of like a um, highly perceptive place here. You're moving intuitively. You're moving consciously, which is why you're being reminded here, Sky Father, trust in the unknown, trust in your actions too, because when it comes to Father, that's masculine energy. And I can clearly see the balance here within the moon and Father. Come on, you can see the mother and the father here coming here and bigging you up and saying, don't worry, you got it. Listen to your intuition, follow through with action here is what I'm getting. So yes, my group number ones, I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I I hope that it provided to you clarity, comfort, and confirmation. Please don't forget to support the channel. We're almost at 2,000. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to do so, okay? I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello there, my group number two. Welcome to your reading where we are taking a look at what alien race you have the strongest spiritual connection to, okay? And maybe why, all right? So listen let me tell you this you are drawn here to my pendant that has all of the chakras uh the colors of the chakras all in one and i am happy to reveal to you that the card that you were drawn to here is lemuria lemurian seed codes with embracing sensitivity uniqueness living with grace okay and i love it because it's such a peaceful place to be in embracing sensitivity uniqueness living with grace okay and so before i opened up uh your pile here i also pulled out the archetypal energy your archetypal energy from what lemuria can see the spirit guides from lemuria what they can see and also an animal spirit for you and the nectar the nectar came out and it's like how do you how do you what is a nectar like how do you get to the nectar it's like that's the softest sweetest aspect of a person right and i feel like that's your sensitivity that is your sensitivity literally feels like a nectar it feels like ambrosia ooh, ooh, ooh. okay and now listen to this <laughs> this one here says spider spirits make your dreams real spider spirit make your dreams weave so weave your own reality because i'm seeing those spider webs and it's like relentlessly weaving reality to how you like it to how it looks so pretty to how it looks gorgeous to you to how it feels so sweet to you okay include anything that you want and i feel like your sensitivity is really what helps you build this so i can see how maybe sometimes if that's rejected if that aspect of you is rejected this sweetness can go sour immediately because when we're looking at spider we're looking at dark spaces as well because that's that's coming into my mind you know because we don't see them during the daylight it's like you know constantly weaving but you're almost like in your internal world kind of thing 
very interesting. It's a very shamanic energy I'm feeling for this. And of course, uniqueness and sensitivity. Like, of course, yeah. So if you're already feeling like that, then you're you're definitely in the right path or uh, in the right pile. I feel like this is my pile that loves the occult, okay? I feel like this is my piles that loves to work with the esoteric studies, that loves to work with crystal, that loves to work with everything that has to do with the unseen, okay? Like that loves to, like you love to titillate your senses. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, okay? I think your guides are doing wordplay here, so... <laughs> But I freaking love it. Apparently, you love to titillate your senses. Okay, tell me more. Okay, my group number two is... And think about it. You are group number two. You are group number two. Group number two is the mother. It's the divine feminine energy. And I feel like that's the part of us too that really helps us to embrace our sensitivity. That really helps us to create our own unique sense of self-expression. And that really helps us to live in harmony and peace and grace with ourselves with the, from the inside. Because if you don't like yourself, why would anyone like you? You know, that's because that's the energy that you're reverberating back into your reality. So, and, and we're all in two intuitive yes we may consciously or unconsciously do this but all of us are intuitive and we can pick up on energy <laughs> now it's up to you if you listen to your intuition or if you've worked your intuition or if you've trained your intuition to pick up on you know again this is where you're being called to embracing your sensitivity. I feel like your intuition here is on the forefront. And that's why you're connected to Lemurian sit codes here. And you know, let me tell you about Lemuria. Lemuria was, uh, Lemuria is a, a race, an ancient civilization that lived in the Pacific Ocean, in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, okay? And they were likened to, you know the movie Avatar, right? They were likened to the people in Avatar where they're so connected to the waters, very connected to the whales. Like in Avatar, they had to connect their own parts of their own hair to, you know, their, uh, to, you know, whatever it is they ride on. I don't know. But yes, it's like, it's a very, oh, community means a lot to this, this pile here. My group number twos. I feel like when you're really connected to someone, you can almost read their minds, okay? Because you almost share the same mind, okay? You're the type that feels like a soulmate to me. Like if someone sees you or like like you're the type to, I don't know, but you feel like a soulmate to me. You, you just feel, you feel like pure connection to me. You feel like pure oneness to me. This pile. You just feel like that's the thing. You embody the nectar. You embody sweetness itself, okay? Just pure essence. Like, just the essence of being. The essence of loving. The essence of feeling. The essence of sensing. The essence of seeing. I don't know. Like, this is very, very deep pile. And I love it. Because it's very intuitive. And I'm getting that energy of that grace now. Okay, I've talked a lot. Let's get into... Yes, let's get into your tarot here. Let's see how your Lemurian guides, uh, you know, connect with you or what they have to say with tarot here. You're definitely the type of person, okay? Your strongest spiritual suit, I feel like it's really connecting to your own sensitivity, your own uniqueness, your own sense of self, and helping others do the same. And then in a way where you help, like... In in a way where they're inspired by you to make their own dreams come true. You're an inspiration. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Like you're so wholesome. You're very, very wholesome because you're kind of, you're very true to your own ways too. You're true to, you're true to your path. You're very like devoted, very like committed. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like I was saying, the Lemurians, they, the way that they transcended was because of they already ascended why even why they were on earth because they moved above that spiritual plane to where they started to and the way that they communicate with each other was telepathically they, they didn't even need words anymore because they were so honest and so unconditionally loving to everyone around them to their own community they loved the lands they loved plants they loved the animals they took care of everything you know so they really built this connection and really transcended you know limitations if you will even that would keep us in this realm but 
there was a cataclysmic there was a cataclysmic event that happened to where they ended up ascending or transcended before that event happened you know and the way that they did they transcended and left their bodies here but their souls their essence it lived on and they through thought forms they ended up channeling their own essences or information of the or thought forms into these uh crystals called lemurian see uh, the morian crystals okay lemurian quartz i think yeah so if you're familiar with lemurian quartz or if you want to connect with the energy of lemuria uh you can get yourself some lemurian quartz here okay and i just feel like lemuria energy is also the type of energy where they don't even seek to like it's the type where it's like if you slap me on one side i give you my second cheek because make it like you know slap me the on the other side as well because i'm not gonna fight you i really like i there's nothing in me that makes me want to fight you because i'm just like i love you i see you i see your essence and i respect it i respect the god that dwells within me and you i respect the creator that has created something so beautiful as me as you you know like that's the energy a really really very compassionate energy and i feel like you're also the type of person too where like if people come to people feel like you're a shoulder to cry on and it's also because you have a very healing energy your presence is healing for a lot of people to where they come and they tell you all these things and honestly i think that way too if you're crying for them you're helping them cleanse you're helping them heal okay because i feel like you're definitely i don't know some people in this pot i just keep seeing waterfalls like i keep seeing like you're feeling someone's pain so much to where you're you're literally crying for them that energy so let me see here interesting oh nine of my nine of pentacles exactly that's the guide that's the spirit guide for sure that's the energy of a spirit guide that's the energy of a leader for sure that's the energy of the hermit okay yeah thank you okay all right so immediately here you're being identified okay i think by your spirit guides and by whatever guides you have you know whatever star family you have in lemuria they're seeing you here again as a leader like the true leader the most compassionate leader where again you will sit and cry with like you know your followers even or people who look up to you like you will sit and feel their feelings you will make them feel like listen you're not alone i am here with you i am here for you i will walk you through this i will hold you through this you are not alone you know and the way that you replenish your own energy though is isolation i think it's by you being around you know maybe trees or like grounding yourself and just really taking time with yourself you know drawing yourself some baths engaging in some self-care really really taking care of yourself here because this is how you really replenish you're a cup okay like people like to drink from you it feels like to me <laughs> Like people, oh, of course, look at the nectar. What is a honey? Honey is, yeah, like, you know, look at that nectar. Like, you're very sweet, like nectar. Of course, people want all of that. Like, of course, you know. It's almost like you're a fruit and you're attracting fruit, fruit flies, you know. So it's like, for you, it's kind of like a win-win energy. Like, you love to do these things because that's just naturally that this is who you are is, you know, someone who is very, very gracious and you, you know, you want to share those aspects of you with you, with other people, especially if you know that they've gone through some deeply transformative, traumatic experiences too, okay? Where they felt like their powers have been taken away from them, you know, by uh by events that they couldn't have controlled or something like that it's actually similar to another pile here where it's like recalling your power okay claim 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 your power back like connect to your own you know energy let's see what this one here says yeah knight of swords okay knight of swords exactly i feel like you're the type of person where it's like even when you find these information sensitivity exactly you're not a. Uh, <sighs> I feel like you're not the type to just up and go. Like, you're the type to stop and smell the flowers. Like, you're not just moving with, you know, hurry just to get to nowhere <laughs> kind of thing. Because with the Nine of Swords reverse, I feel like that's it. And I also feel like maybe sometimes you might be reluctant to maybe share aspects of you, this sensitive aspect of you too. You know, it's with others sometimes. 
because nine of swords upright it's like yes i have an information and i'm going with you know energy i'm i'm going to to share something i'm going to fight for something i'm going to share an information you know reverse is kind of like no i can i can take my time here i can take my time and you know what's funny is yeah i'm seeing that exactly within the nine of pentacles too because nine of pentacles it's a hermit it's virgo card and to hermit it's kind of like no before i go forth and spill all this tea i need to collect my data i need to collect oh, okay i think this is about your gift i think you're opening up to i really feel like you're opening up to some of your gifts and, and when i say gift i'm talking about your spiritual gifts okay or your spiritual yeah i feel like you're opening up to your spiritual gifts ones that have been sitting by the way this is not new nine of pentacles this is like you've been working on this it feels like I feel like you're a very analytical person again. Like you, as much as you like logic and reason, you also sit with sensitivity to where you're sensing things and you can't even rationalize them. You can't even comprehend them. And that's the spiritual aspect of things. So you have, it feels like you have this balance to where even if you find that information out of nowhere, it just came to you, you like to sit, analyze, dissect it before you move forth. Because you understand that sharing some of these things, it's it's going to cause some like, mm -mm -mm. yeah, because five of wands is always like competition, confusion, fighting or something like that. Or like tr wanting to be right. That kind of energy or uh, wanting to be like oh well my information is greater because well i sensed it from something like that here let's see what this one here says see this pile is so psychic we also have we have another nine nine of wands reversed five of wands okay okay i'm getting this energy of sometimes you don't trust your own intuition or sometimes it's just this inner conflict within you with it where it's like you're getting an information but you're sensing and like it's very interesting it's very interesting sometimes there are inner conflicts because of maybe holding yourself back from an information that you've gotten because you don't have anything tangible or reasonable to back that information with you know, and maybe there was a situation in the past with the nine of wands here where you you did trust in your intuition and it didn't pan out the way that you wanted to. So that's that was what caused a lack of belief in this energies that you're feeling in the things. Yeah, where it's like, yeah, it caused a lack of belief in your intuition before i don't know there's just this inner conflict of like how do you go forth with information or how do you share these aspects of yourself that are very sensitive without you confusing people or something here there's also something here that's going to be changing soon i feel like uh with the five of wands here this inner conflict that you may have been having they are going to be scenarios okay okay they're going to be scenarios that are going to come to put this at rest. I definitely think you're working with your intuitive gifts, your psychic gifts, okay? Because again, this pile is definitely very psychic. And I think that's the sweetest part of you too, you know? That is the most, like, I don't know. That's just the most gorgeous, sweetest. That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you stand out is your sensitivity. And this is what really makes you shine is when you're embracing these aspects of yourself instead of like falling into conflicts or not believing in yourself or something because of something that has happened from before, you know? So if there are things where you feel like you've been sitting on, you've been procrastinating on, it's time to change that. If there is information that you're sitting on or is there's an aspect of yourself that you don't trust because something traumatic happened from before that it's come to be transformed this is the time because change is here change is around the corner it's here it's here there's no more this energy of you not trusting yourself there's no more this energy of you holding yourself back okay this is your time to shine and you're putting yourself at the forefront you're letting everyone see you in all your glory exactly as you are and you're walking more authentically this is why we're at the nines and it's because you've done so much work you've done so much work to get to a healthy place mentally physically and spiritually so it's like okay all my my hands are clean <laughs> like you know 
I ain't got anything to hide. I know that I can say I have tried my hardest. I have tried my best. I have done everything I could, okay, to become a better person. And I'm frankly, I'm happy with where I'm at. Like, yes, I'm living with grace. <laughs> I'm living with grace. And yes, I will gracefully transform, okay? I'm not going to run from transformations or these big questions that cause this inner conflict within me. I will graciously look at them and try to understand myself or try to understand something here from a different place, from a different perspective. I'll try to see what this energy is trying to teach me, okay? Because it's definitely teaching you to embrace your sensitivity, to embrace your own uniqueness, and for you to keep standing out. You don't have like this energy is not meant to fit in at all. Because there's gonna be so many things that are gonna be drawn to you, or like yes, because you can you can pick up on everything. You sense everything. You're connected to everything. You sense your connection to all that is around you, right? And I feel like you're the type that yes, you might even be overwhelmed with energy sometimes. Okay. That's also coming up. I think that's why the five of wands is here. So I think this is telling you to put a boundary against those inner conflicts. Okay, don't don't get yourself in that energy at all. Put a boundary up in things that will get you to you know these conflicting energies. Okay, because your energy your energy feels to me like it's meant to be clear. You're 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 a channel as well. Like you are like a mirror that reflects. Okay, so you don't. Like you don't have you're not you don't have a solid ground or like a solid thing. Like you're all things. You're like a kaleidoscope. I don't know. It's very interesting. But yes. Let's go ahead and see here what the higher self and angels want to say to you. Your angels, guides, and ancestors. There's no way I'm shuffling, right? <laughs> it's like a, that card came out again exactly peace that's what i was feeling i feel like peace yes peacekeeper let go of the need to be right exactly five of ones energy let go of the need to be right let go of any conflicting energies as well okay i feel like that's what you're being called to do because these energies it almost feels like something here because you want to be so right you're holding yourself back to see from seeing you know what else is out there for you maybe Because for you, it feels like there's no limit. You are meant to enjoy and experience life through your senses, through all your senses, through all your five senses, okay? And even beyond that. So you're really meant to connect to above and beyond. <laughs> above and beyond and above and below on in this earth, like walking this realm. I feel like you are meant to connect to that. There's this energy of mystery. There's an air of mystery too around you, okay? Mm-mm-mm. But it's like a good mystery. It's a good mystery. It's one where it's like, you know, you sense the fairies and you're playing with them and you're connecting with them. You know, it's like you sense gnomes. You sense like, you know, earthly spirits that are here to help you out. That kind of thing. Like you sense the energy that is emitting from the crystals. Or, you know, you can hear your plant talking to you or something. Like you connect to your animals and yeah, I think you're all about that for sure. Okay. And I think, yeah, don't fall into trying to convince people about this magic that you are, okay? Or for them to believe what it is that you are sensing, okay? Because, again, I think this is just really, really personal to you. The universe wants to show you something here. Your senses, like, it's very personal to you, to the way that you connect with the universe, with the creator. So let go of the need to be right. Don't even fall into, yeah, I feel like you're being reminded to not fall into these arguments or these conflicts about you know how right people are especially when it comes to spirituality especially when it comes to these delicate subjects where we can't physically see something but we're sensing something and your intuition is picking up on that correctly you know but it's like there's just no um rational explanation for what it is that you're picking up on for the information that you're picking up on so let go of the need to be right sky father trust in the unknown okay uh all right so let's go ahead because we're in honor of cancer season the mother season the divine feminine we're gonna see what isis has to say for you okay my spiritual okay that was very fast okay we have for you interesting 
Temple of Lapis Lazuli. See, see how crystals keep coming up for you. I really feel like if you're called to get some crystal, get some Lemurian crystal, and see what that opens up within you, within your own field, within your own space. Because, you know, introduce it to your space. Let it, let it tug on your psychic energy a little bit, and see what you can sense. Feel, feel how the energy is pulsing out of your hand. Okay, because I think you're coming up to some really interesting time in your spiritual journey where you're really connecting to again the essence of things. You're not just looking at this crystal for what it is you're connected even deeply and it's almost like you're the only one that can translate what that crystal that information that you're sensing from it because you're like it's it's you you know so temple of lapis got the goddess of the ancient skies the goddess of the ancient skies is supporting you is backing you i feel like okay Lapis Lazuli is always is also a crystal that really helps you like hone in on your psychic gifts and also keep you clear minded, clear headed, you know, clear channel, if you will. And with the blue there too, I feel like there's something here that ha that ha needs wants to be expressed. Okay, there's something here that wants to be expressed. Okay, that wants to be created. That wants to flow through you. It feels like to me. All right, so I felt called really quickly to read the Temple of Lapis Lazuli for you. And here it says, Your soul is very ancient, beloved, and does not only herald from the earth. It holds much special wisdom of the star peoples from civilizations far and near. Lemuria. With unique high vibrations, with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a civilization based in fear to a love-based culture, you are guided to come into deeper acceptance for your own inner knowing now. You're guided to come into deeper acceptance, exactly. Again, that conflict that you might be feeling, reconcile everything, okay? What matters, like, literally make the pros and cons, of what matters, what doesn't, okay? Everything is still hearsay, if you will. So really connect to the truth of how you're feeling here. That's what I feel like you're being called to do. And do not be ashamed. Yeah, exactly. I feel like also do not be ashamed of how you feel and just tell it like it is. Tell tell it like it is. Tell your truth. Leave your truth. That's how I'm feeling for this. Okay. Let's see what the stars have to say to you. Memoria. See what Lemuria, the star beams, star guides. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, here we have it. <sighs> okay. So look. Okay. My camera cut off group number two. So sorry about that. But um, I forgot what I was saying, where I stopped. I know we were looking at these two cards over here. But here we have um, loosen your grip, coping mechanism, density, addiction, let God in, loosen your grip, okay? We also have here messenger, messenger with serious energy, bring in harmony and balance, bring in harmony and balance. And you can't even, you, you, you can't help but notice also this, um, uh, the, the, what's it called, the, kundalini energy rising through and also opening up the chakras and your light body here with the merkaba as well so like really coming into full totality full capacity of yourself okay so that you can be this messenger that you've been called to be because this is a calling this is a calling that you will never not answer especially with this embracing your sensitivity because this is part of that you know your light body isn't something that you can physically see it's something that you sense it's something that you you know it's an outer shell if you will of or an inner shell i don't even know but yes <laughs> it's interesting the way that it works so yeah i hope you enjoyed the reading and i hope that oh yeah because you know you are also drawn here to the chakra so it's like coming into balance like aligning all your chakra systems here i feel like okay it's going to be very important for you i feel like you're tasked as the messenger here you're tasked with you know bringing perspectives that really helps people come into balance with all of their chakras okay to have a messenger you are you bring henry you bring harmonious energies okay you bring intuitive uh, i don't know you just heal the intuitive energy i feel like yeah, I feel like a lot of you in this pile because 
you're very very sensitive you're a very sensitive soul and you pick up on energies that even your eyes cannot see i feel like sometimes you might confuse it or you might confuse what you're feeling with what someone else is feeling and i think sometimes again energy i feel like it comes through you to be expressed and it might be you can't really categorize if it's good or bad it's just a matter of how comfortable you are as well because honestly again these things whether we label them to be good or bad energies they still need to be they need to be expressed they need because that's how it works <laughs> that's how we keep the balance they need to be expressed and i think that you know sometimes you shy away from or you try to escape from those really heavy ones or those really uncomfortable energies that are coming to you to be cleansed to be you know released and to and to be released graciously too by the way i think that's what it's asking of you it's for it's for you to bring more grace into these energies that feel very heavy for you okay so yes bring this sweet nectar that you are into whatever it is that you feel is just so bigger than you okay that you can't figure out all right bring balance and harmony so yes i hope you've enjoyed this group number two and i hope that this reading resonated with you please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay we're almost at 2000 so if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and do so and also turn your notification bell on i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye hello there group number three welcome to your reading where we're taking a look at your which alien race you have the strongest three spiritual connection to okay so you've been drawn here to my beautiful um ankh as well as the eye of Ra. i'm gonna show you what alien race that is and it is pleiadian okay so we have here pleiadian activation coming together harmony in the heavens resolution okay interesting yes and this was uh the pendant that came with that and it's the eye of raw and the ankh which is so gorgeous because yes it's like this is the cross, you know, this is the cross signifying your connection, okay, to your connection to the four elements, you know, all that is around us, okay? The four elements and also the four corners of the world, okay? And also the womb because the womb is the hunk. It literally, the hunk is shaped like the womb, okay? The fallopian tube and you see it right there. Okay, so this is a very highly divine feminine energy, but with the eye of Ra there, I feel like it's also that divine feminine energy that is very ferocious, okay, that has that unconditional energy, that service energy, that nurturing energy, but also likes to see things very, very, very clearly, so it knows how to navigate, okay? It knows how to navigate. It likes to see things, the truth, okay? No matter how ugly it is, it wants to see the truth for what it is. It has that gift of clarity, okay? So that you know how to move according to what it is that you want. Especially here, if you have like, you know, people who have ill will for you or ill feelings for you, it's like you can see clearly where that energy is coming from and you're able to put your boundaries up that's what i'm getting from pendant so pleiadian activation so let me tell you a little bit about that so i've also pulled here your archetypal energy from the pleiadian's perspective of your strongest uh spiritual archetype as well as your spirit animals here okay so let's talk about pleiadians first pleiadian is the star of the seven sisters and <gasps> wait because i just i just realized something i just connected something together pleiades is the star of the seven sisters and it's also a cluster of stars that you can see bright at, at night right but the way that the clusters are formed is formed in uh, a rosary you know like the christian rosary like the old mother like that rosary right and i was just saying how you know your pendant here signifies your connection to the four worlds and to the four, exactly, to the cross. <laughs> it's also showing here, again, the cross. The cross, right? The four worlds, the cross. And I actually forgot about the Mother Mary and the rosary here. So 
So this is deeply spiritual and deeply feminine, but also very Christ conscious energy wise. It feels like to me because that's what Pleiades star cluster looks like at night is the rosary, the rosary. And the fact that even the pendant here is the cross, it's like. The Christian doctrine is coming up to mind here, and I don't know why. But yes. But Pleiades is, again, uh, the Seven Star Sisters, and they're a very highly devoted, they're an uh, alien race that is very highly devoted to everything that has to do with the Divine Feminine Energy, that has to do with unearthing it, that has to do with working with it, that has to, anything that also has to do with your creative energy too, okay, from that Divine Feminine Essence your creative energy and really just compassionate energy unconditionally loving it's just bright light okay anytime i feel like i connect here it's just bright good vibes good energy like we all want to see each other win like what do i gotta do like i'm my brother's keeper this is that energy yes all day i'm my brother's keeper okay so i feel like that's yeah that may be your core core values as well those, those may be your three traits as well and that's why you're drawn to pleiadian okay so let's see wow the orphan i'm my brother talk about i'm my brother's keeper like talk about i'm my brother's keeper and i was just talking about how pleiadian is also very highly divine feminine energy to where it's nurturing it wants to be of service i also mentioned the womb here so there's something here about a child and a mother here, okay, immediately. And I feel like your archetype being the orphan, interesting. Your archetype feels like the inner child to me, that if anything, Pleiades wants to protect or wants to always show up for, or feels a sense of loyalty to you because you may sometimes feel alone. You may sometimes feel misunderstood. You may sometimes feel like you don't fit in, okay? And it causes you, frankly, to keep... Oh my God, it really causes you to keep shedding your skin, to keep shedding even the truths that people have projected upon you that are not even aligning with your own inner truth. So you do this work of continuously and constantly unearthing yourself, breaking out of those shells, okay? Breaking out of the mold that maybe the world has tried to keep you in too, especially when it comes to your own creative self-expression too and your own innocence. Interesting. Interesting. It's like you're a transformer of that. You're a transformer and you're, you reject, the, you frankly reject the notion of someone telling you what to do or how to do things, okay? Because you understand that it's very personal. The actions that you take, they're very, very personal. Anything that you put your mouth to, anything that you put your money to, anything that you're doing, you do it out of love and that's why it's very personal to you. This is why it's also important for you. I feel like your soul loves to keep evolving. It loves to keep shedding. It loves to seek wisdom, especially in places where people don't look at, especially in the dark. You know, it's like, yeah, you're the type where it's like, yeah, I've seen it all. Like, I, I know what my two eyes can pick up on. But like, what's hidden? What's underneath? And also, what has been dormant within me that needs to come out? What, what do I need? Like, how do I need to grow? How can I grow? How can I expand? How can I transform? How can I evolve? And this is all through your own like unconditional love for yourself for everything that's around you and everything that's within you groundhog spirit time to let go exactly transforming keep going like yeah yeah that, that definitely makes sense like keep seeking for wisdom keep unearthing things time to let go let go of the past let go of you know ways in which things could have been or like all these you know hopes and dreams that we've had that never really panned out you know the ghost of your dreams you know the ghost of the past oh wow i love this whale spirit wait are the whales who are who are kind of are the whales connected Wait, I don't know. Is it whales that are connected to Pleiades or is it Sirius? I know there's an energy that whales are connected to. I know there's an alien race or energy that I feel like whales and dolphins connect to. And it's very interesting because this one here is saying, trust 
the great mystery. Trust the great mystery of your transformation, I think is what they're saying. Because again, if you are in a place where you're constantly feeling like, you know, you're an orphan or you've been orphaned from something or that what a lot of people, like you wish you had the same, you know, parents that maybe your other friends had growing up or something like that where you just feel left out of like trust it trust that there was a reason that you may have felt left out of that thing and it was because i really think it was really to help you dive into your own self so that you can understand yourself outside of authorities that could have imposed or projected their own egoic desires upon you because again for you it's very personal <laughs> like you know yeah i feel like this energy isn't like anyone telling you what to do you know it's it's not it's not a brat it's not a bratty kid it's just more so like no i want to i want to go play outside and that's what i want to do or like just something that i want to do something that's so innocent but you can't you can't move me away like my intentions are pure my intentions is innocent okay but i'm gonna do what i want to do that's the thing and honestly, even if I fail, I would have loved to learn that lesson for myself, okay? And this is giving like, yeah, you're just not the type to follow authorities. Like, this is a very creative energy. It's a very, uh, like, you love to create your own, manifest your own reality, it feels like. You know, you like to find your own ways of doing things. You like to find your own, like, oh, well, like, you don't like to even follow trends at all, I feel like. I feel like this energy really just stands on its own. And it's because life taught you from a very young age, it feels like. But you know what's funny is this Pleiadian energy. It's so unconditional, loving, and it's so very subtle. When the energy comes, it's a very gentle, soft energy that I feel like it's been around you all your life. Even through the times where you felt like you lacked something. This energy were always around you to let you know that there is harmony in the heavens. There is a resolution in whatever feel like you were left out of, okay? There is definitely resolution. It's time to let go. There's a new beginning coming for you. Number five there is a number of transformation. And I've seen fives all across the board tonight, whether it's within the tarot or the oracle cards. So I really feel like I like this. I like the transformation that we're called, we're being called to embrace, you know? Yeah, the fool. Yeah. Yeah four of cups yeah you're done with something here you're done with feeling like this you're done with feeling you know lethargic or feeling depleted or feeling like you just don't have that support but i really think that you do like you do have that you're a whale <laughs> like you're not even a shark you are a whale this is how you're this is how the pleiadians see your energy okay and this is why they're liking to you too because the reason that we resonate with these alien uh, ancient civilization is because we have the same almost vibratory rate or vibratory frequency if you will okay and they're seeing you here as the will and look we also have the ground of spirit so i'm getting for you you're almost like the microcosm and the macrocosm like you're the you are oh i'm getting the russian dolls now okay you know the russian yeah the russian dolls where it's like you keep opening it you keep unearthing it and it you know it goes down to yeah because that's how this the the snake also shed its skin you know it just keeps coming out it keeps getting bigger it keeps getting bigger it keeps expanding and growing out of its pre-existing shells because it understands evolution it understands evolution and it knows how to navigate through even the most challenging experiences or obstacles that really stops you from evolving and this is where trust really comes in this is where you've been asked to really trust and you're the only one that also got two cards here so i think again there's this energy of you are the microcosm and the macrocosm of it all with the fool here too it's like it's very important for you to know that it's very important for you to know that something that you might take a leap of faith on and you think it's it's so small right now might turn into something so big that then allows you to really expand that really allows you to enjoy you know adventures and different experience that really gives you freedom there's this energy of freedom here that i'm getting freedom of adventure freedom like financial freedom as well too the Hierophant. Was it reverse? Okay, we have the Hierophant. 
yeah is this the one where i said you'd pave your own path or something like that because that's what the hierophant here is coming in to say it's like you've unearthed a certain aspect of truth or you've unearthed some truth right or okay 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 this is also what i'm saying okay this is also what i'm getting i feel like maybe some of you in here were also raised in very rigid maybe culture or religious beliefs or something like that and you have been tasked whatever this pleiadian energy is this activation because it is an activation i think that you've been now tasked with your like your spiritual activation is tasked with you like yes you've seen what they taught you right you've seen what they raised you with right what's your own path what's your own perspective of what it is that we've all been taught like you know especially when it comes to religious beliefs and organization and all these things like that i feel like that's where that's where i was getting the christ consciousness energy from because when it comes to the hierophant this is like religious beliefs that has been passed down from family upon family upon family until it takes out one person that says no that might be your truth but it's not my truth okay you might have seen this like that and maybe that's why you often felt alone that's why you often felt alone because maybe a lot of people in your family you're looking at them you're looking at yourself you're like honestly i don't i'm not vibing with y'all i don't like, like i'm not vibing with your way of you know rigid uh religious beliefs maybe you know because with the hierophant reverse it's almost like you're rejecting now you being who you are i think you've really like maybe you've seen yourself as the black sheep or there's this rebellious energy too like it's so is there so there, is there yeah i think there is it's a righteous rebelliousness kind of thing i don't even know if there's such thing but yes it's a very righteous rebellious energy here that i'm getting where it's like you reject the notion of something here okay maybe a way that things have been done uh belief system that your family that has been passed down within your family system that's been passed down within your family and you finally it's almost like you close out that cycle right or you find the truth about how you feel okay how you truly feel about everything and how you truly connect to what god means to you what the creator energy means to you right and how you connect to the mystery exactly how you connect to the mystery regardless of what have been written in the book regardless of what have been said it's like how do you really connect all the dots that you found all the information that you found the ones that you've been given and the ones that you're finding on your own time because there's something here that you were done with okay four of cups four of cups is almost like yeah you were done with it you weren't happy with where you are you're not you know you're not liking <laughs> where reality has gotten you okay and you know you're almost i don't i don't know if you're you're not necessarily blaming okay maybe you are because that's why it's time to let go it's like you're looking and you're reflecting and it's almost like you don't like how things have been you know you don't like maybe maybe you're finding out that there's been some lies or there's been some hidden truths okay okay i think you're finding out because you look i think you're fine within the four of cups here you you know saw your reality how it is and there's something about it that's not making you happy so you decide to change right and i think the way that you're changing is through finding out different belief system that really empowers you and the reality that you're trying to build within the full here okay because you're going to eventually have this huge this beautiful relationship where you trust the unknown and you go on an adventure okay and in your inner world and your outer world is how i'm seeing this you're going on that adventure in a very spiritual way but also in a very realistic way okay yes okay yes because you've asked for this you asked for this for sure you asked for this you wanted this change or it's either you wanted this change or your spirit team wanted it someone wanted it like spirit really wanted the change for you a change in perspective a change in a way of life okay and that's what's happening here let's see what this one says five of cups see the fives all the fives came out today oh are you mourning something are you mourning something because again actually yes five yeah yeah yep it's funny how your last card is right underneath where we started with the orphan here because five of cups 
is a cloak of darkness that you can't seem to get out of okay it's a dark cloak that you're wearing but it also carries all your baggage like that cloak is all the dark emotions or the dark night of the soul or, or everything that you've had to go through okay all the experiences that you've had to transform and get out of okay it's like you're understanding that it's now time for you to let go of that it's now time for you to cross the bridge i don't think that you're actively feeling this anymore because with these two cards reverse i like seeing them in reverse because it means that you're making a change now because here if she was upright that means she's just sitting and she hates her reality and she's like and she's not even focused on the blessings that she's prayed for that are now sitting here with her she's only focused on like okay there's these three cups that i don't really like at all okay and i don't like it i'm not buying it anymore and then <laughs> it's like i'm not buying it anymore and you see what's funny is we see the four of cups and the five of cups so because she decides to look at this cup and look at her reality and be like, listen, something's got to change, okay? Something's got to change. Finally, she gets up. She stands up. Those three cups that she's looking at, she's looking at them in the five of cups, except there's two cups behind her that she's still not paying attention to. But as soon as she turns around, she sees those cups and she starts to become more grateful for them because she's like, wow, at least these two, they stand the test of time. They never fail. This cups did not spill away these efforts did not spill away okay i still gained something from this and that's when she focuses on those two cups and finally she crosses the bridge to the other side that's the story within here so there's definitely a new beginning here that you're going to be having to make a choice to close out you know ideas or uh re belief systems that just doesn't work for you anymore that has made you feel isolated i think you're coming up to a time where you're connected with communities okay that see yeah with communities that really yeah with your own soul tribe let me just put it as simple as that i really feel like you're getting out of whatever um rigid structures you are in and you're again bringing people together you're bringing harmony okay you're bringing resolutions to energies of that has made you feel depleted that has just made you feel isolated that made you feel like you were left out okay Whew. okay so we're gonna move on and we're gonna see here Yeah, it's, it really is time to let go. You know, I also feel like you're the type to, like, you're a very curious soul. With the fool here, of course, that's why you like the adventure. That's why you like to dwell. You're fearless. You like to jump. You don't even, like, you carry the small things, like, you know, maybe your favorite crystals, your water, and that's it. Like, you, you just go. You go on different adventures. Like, you are very spontaneous energy here, okay? Which is why, exactly, set structures are not going to work for you. Set structures that have been set in place are just not going to work for it because you go in with the very curious mind like wait huh why do we follow that actually like what is the gist with that and then you know you're having these yeah <laughs> this reality shifts basically okay to where you find they're like okay honestly let me just jump let me just go let me just let me go look for it let me go like seek and you shall find and that's what the fool does and it doesn't know anything just yet because it it's finding it out as it's going on that journey and that's why the fool, the fool never really stays stagnant, you know? It doesn't have everything it need right here. But it's like, listen, I have, like, it doesn't have everything that it wants, but it has exactly what it needs to get to where it wants to. I bought the camera. So I'm getting the vibe that, honestly, if you have questions that are unanswered, okay, trust in the great mystery because the answers are still going to come to you. If they're not showing themselves up to you right now, don't worry about it. Let them go. Let's set them free. Don't let them cause angst or trouble or like apathy or, you know, you just grieving over something that you, you that literally you can't control because that's what five of cups is too it's like you couldn't control this that's just what it was and it's time to let go of you know over dwelling on the same thing over and over again the same pain over and over again or you're just looking at your reality expecting it to change when you're not actively working for that change that's that energy too 
it's like you've been granted the opportunities okay to see the truth okay to see how you connected the truth to the to the absolute truth and it's like you've also been granted like okay you also have that natural spontaneous energy to where you're like yes let me just jump for it let me just go for it let me be adventurous let me be spontaneous you know so it's like those doors because because you dare to dream those doors will be opening for you okay because you dare to dream because you dare to take that leap of faith they will Will be opening for you you will not be left out of that okay that's a promise from spirit let me just tell you that right now you will not be left out of that because the fool oh i just love the full energy so much it just repays you it repays you with lessons and blessings And the fool really vindicates you sometimes, to be honest. Like these journeys that you go on within the fool, because you don't know, it's literally, it can go any single, like it could go any way. You don't know. You don't know. Like this is just fate in its own plane. And you're having to trust it. You're having to trust the great mystery. Trust that, yes, things are going to be happening in my favor because I'm daring to live life. That's what we're here to do to live, to be adventurous, to take risks, to take calculated risks, and to be creative with our reality, <laughs> to be highly creative. Yeah, I feel like these people that are here, uh, my artists, you know, my very talented people, you know, like you got skills within you, you have like innate skills that can easily be monetized here if you go for it, if you take a leap of faith on yourself, I feel like oh my god look at this look at this look at this soul gift called you're called you've been called you can't not answer the call called soul gifts and training it's time to step up look at that door door is opening it's opening it's time to step up it is time to step up you're a leader you're giving me leadership vibe because guess what you you literally really work with the self here you've really identified and solidified your own identity like, you know that question where we all ask each other, who are you? It really feels to me like because of the way life transpired, because of the way life taught you a lot, you know who you are. You know who you are. It feels like that to me, okay? And if you feel like this is strange to you, then that's what you're coming into. This is why Pleiadian activation, this is what's been activated. This is your, you know, spiritual gifts that are being activated. And look, look at this. Empathic star seed. Oh my God. So you're definitely, it's, it's giving me Pleiadian star seed, okay? So let me know if you've heard that before. If you know yourself to be a Pleiadian star seed or if you've gotten confirmation anyway just let me know uh oh yeah look at this this one here says energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours exactly energetic sovereignty standing on your own because guess what you know who you are you know what's your baggage you know what's not yours you know what to give away you know what to send away you know how to bring your own boundaries you know what to put boundaries up about absorbing what's not yours empathetic star seed exactly absorbing what's not yours and that also goes for truth that also goes for projection of you know the authorities that have been around you or that have you know tried to really impose their strict views on you too don't absorb what's not yours okay so let's go ahead and see here Let's go ahead and see from your angels and ancestors what they want you to know. Oh my God. Just spot on energy. Oh, group number three. Yeah, very psychic energy. I mean, we did talk about how this being a very highly divine, feminine, intuitive energy that wants to be of service. It also is an energy that loves children too, that always makes your children a good animals and, you know, all the things that can't really speak for themselves kind of thing, you know. But yes, um, look at this. Magic, look at this. You know, both of your angels, they have wings. Like, these are these are angels, these cards, both of them. And they're guardians. Wow, your guardian angels. Okay, interesting. Your guardian angels are coming in to let you know that you are the magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. Unlock the magic within. And I think the magic within also has to do with truth. It also has to do with you really letting go in a, 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 a situation that had 
a hold over you, okay? That really, really shook your foundation of your reality, okay? That made you feel like you were about to lose everything. Or that it just really had your attention and it wasn't a positive one, okay? Time to let go. Please figure out what that is, okay? Because you're that's what you're clearing out right now. That's what's been activated, okay? Unlock the magic within. Unlock the magic within. Unlock the magic within. Also, if you have some sage or something near you here or some herbs, you can burn some herbs if you're feeling like it. Just to clear out any, you know, any clutter, any anything that's in there. Okay, we also have any blockages. Just to clear out any blockages that you might be feeling energetically, okay? That's holding you from, you know, jumping into this adventurous new beginning that you're going into. And we also have here protection guardian. Drop your shields, exactly. Drop your shields. You're safe. There's a resolution now. You know, there's nothing to. Yeah, drop your shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the peacock there too. You know, just staring at you. Drop your shield. The peacock. Yeah, the peacock energy is an energy that's very confident. It loves to shine what it has, like its own. Like it knows its worth, and that's how it uses to. <laughs> like that's what it uses to shine. You know. Like, it's ready to spread itself and all its glory when it's like, yeah, when it's time. So, it's time to shine, I feel like. And drop your shields. There's nothing here. You're very highly protected. Like I said, you've been protected. You may have not actively, consciously felt this, but you have always been protected, okay? So, this is another confirmation of that protection. So last thing I would love to do for you is we're going to go ahead, because we are in cancer season, the season of the mother... The divine feminine so we're gonna look at lady isis what she has for you okay let's see and i might have to read that for you as well but let's see let's go spirit of isis <laughs> the spirit of isis is with you the spirit of wow this card feels like there's 17 cards at one that's how heavy it feels like that's what it looks like wait is there only one card really wow yeah highly divine feminine look at this just so you know in this card you can see the eye of Ra, and this is the card that came for you and that was also the pendant that you picked synchronicities i love it okay i really love this because this gives me also a confirmation because i didn't know why i was drawn to that today i'm like but why <laughs> like but why so i'm like okay let's just pick it up <laughs> i haven't seen this in a year this is not something that i have around me all the time so when i saw it i'm like okay let me just bring this and it's very interesting because spirit of isis you're promised here triumph and with the spirit of Isis here, I feel like triumph of the goddess. You are promised an exclamation point. In all of these cards, this is the only one that has exclamation point. Just so you can know the gravity of this card. Spirit of Isis, triumph of the goddess, okay? Yeah, it's very interesting. The goddess came out in all of the cards today. So, let me go ahead and read that for you because I do feel calm too. Spirit of Isis dwells in me. Okay. So we have here Spirit of Isis, Triumph of the Goddess. Beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has a spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems believe okay believe believe in yourself believe in your magic believe in your soul gifts and training because it's going to be important okay it's going to be important here i feel like you're coming up to again a lot of your sensitive energies a lot of your psychic energy a lot of your intuitive energies just opening up and the ones where it's like it's literally rooted in love okay where you feel like you feel calm within your aura. You feel calm. You feel you feel you feel relaxed to even receive this information or to even receive love from the divine, you know? Because sometimes sometimes depending on what we're going through or what we're so focused on, the love is right here, right now, and we're still not even paying attention to it. You know, the things that we've prayed for, again, they're right here in in front of us, you know? 
things that we've longed for that are now here but it's because we get into these spaces where we're so focused again on absorbing what's not ours you know and then we get so lost in that that we're not grateful for our own blessings that we've again actively played for okay so never forget a the magic within you all right my group number threes i hope that you've enjoyed this reading you're very pregnant with possibilities they also wanted to throw that in i don't know why you're very very pregnant with possibilities because i'm seeing this full moon and this full moon as well okay and we just recently had a full moon in capricorn which really would have shook your foundation especially when it comes to your career or really like solidifying okay who are the people that are moving into that like who are the people that are moving ahead along with me like who are the people that i'm seeing as long-standing friendships okay or like relationships and stuff like that okay all right i gotta stop <laughs> all right my group number threes i hope that you've enjoyed this reading and i hope that it provided to you some clarity comfort and confirmation we're almost at 2,000 subscribers so if you're not already subscribed do not forget to do that i look forward to seeing you in the next video Bye bye